Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. Well, maybe not the whole mock draft. We're only going to go 19 deep here because you guys won't, you'll fast forward ahead of me. But I did my 9.0 draft because every single time I do this draft, things have changed. It's all based on the latest information. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do another one on Thursday. So go ahead and come back to it. Watch that one. But watch this one first and make sure you like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. I appreciate it. All right. Let's go down the list. I'll say this. There's at least seven situations that could change in the draft. People trading up and down, taking different players that would directly impact Washington. And that's why, man, if I get this one right, it's throwing a bullseye from a thousand yards away at the board. Uh, this is a very tough one to figure out Washington because they're going to adapt to what happens in front of them. There's about six players I think they could grab if they fell to them. Maybe one of them will. Um, so let's just go down it. I'm going to have to look away because I can't memorize things. But number one, okay, I remember that one. That's Jacksonville is taking Trevor Lawrence. All right, we, okay, two, uh, Zach Wilson going to the Jets. I've heard nothing to say they, that's not going to happen. So, you know, it's been very quiet about all of that. And, but let's just figure that's going to happen. Three, man, I just don't believe the Mac Jones thing. I just don't. If they take him, God bless you. Good luck with it. But I think it's Justin Fields. So I'm going Justin Fields. I don't know why the 49ers have to feel clandestine on this, but this is the Shanahan. So Shanahan's don't tell anything straight to anybody, no matter the reasons. We've seen that here before. All right, number four. I'm going to make another bold move. Trey Lance. I, I know you could say, well, Kyle Pitts, or trade it to somebody who would value it more. But you know what? They need they need a quarterback in the future. I mean, they have a couple more years with their current guy, and then the, the, the salary cap basically forces all that out. So Trey Lance needs some time to develop. And in the NFL, time to develop is, is code for, you know, 10 seconds normally. Uh, but, you know, remember Haskins was going to play his rookie year? Played half season. Uh, so, you know, it's just, you never know. But I think that they're basically going to get him, Falcons are going to get him and develop him because they're going to need him. So, you know, they also have a lot of cap problems over there. So getting on a quarterback, that costs you a little bit more than it would something else if you trade it down. So I could see Atlanta trading down. Number five, it's kind of surprising here too. I mean, I'm just doing this mock draft going, what happened? I had to kind of the top settled and then it all blew up. You know, a lot of rumblings coming out of Cincinnati about taking Jamar uh, Chase. They need a receiver. But, you know, everybody kind of thought they were going to take Panay Sewell with left tackle. Because they've got that great young quarterback out there you've got to protect. Because Washington fans remember last season what happened when they played the Bengals. You know, Joe Burrow got hurt and lost the rest of the season. So you've got to protect this guy. Uh, I think it's, but you know, but you want a target, man. <laughs> yeah, you want everything. You know, you want five picks. I, I, just from the way the wind is blowing, I'm going to say that they go for the receiver here. Which now changes a lot of dynamics too. Number six, Miami. I'm staying with Jalen Waddle on that pick. You know, and um, seven, Detroit, man, that could be a traded out pick too. But if it's not, I'm going to go Kyle Pitts right there. Because this is the guy who's the best player, I think, in this draft. So I think the Lions would go for him. Eight, I could see eight trading with Washington. Uh, and maybe Washington goes get Panay Sewell. Um, and you got, I'm not sure what the price will be on this, but hey, it's a friends and family kind of trade. So we should get a, a little bit of a discount. I could see Washington trading up there. But right now, I got Panay Sewell coming off the board at Carolina. Number nine, I am going to go for a trade. Denver trades to New England, and New England goes for Mac Jones. If Mac Jones is gone, they may go ahead and trade up for Justin Fields. That's something I see that one happening on there. Although Denver could use a quarterback, too. So, you know, it's just do you like that quarterback or not? If you don't, don't force it. Trade the pick. Live for another day. That's a smarter way to go about it, but we'll see. So New England gets uh, Mac Jones in this situation. Number 10, Dallas is in going Patrick Sertain. Uh, they need him. Uh, 11, you know, I talked to a friend of mine on the Giants uh, beats, and, and he said, well, they're probably going to go for this guy unless they go for this one or this one. Sounds like me. Um, <laughs> you know, he feels that they're going to go receiver instead of offensive line. Uh, so Devonta Smith would be my choice there. Then to go to Philadelphia at 12, Micah Parsons, 
There's a lot of rumblings about that. The Giants have been rumbling about Michael Parsons. I mean, guy's a good player. Anybody could use him. There's very few times that you wouldn't do that. Uh, but I think Parsons comes off. You know, that's when Ryan Rivera winces once again. Like, you know, another they got like six guys. They could all be gone. You know, they'll take any of the guys, but they could be gone. All right. Uh, let's see. Thirteen. Christian Darisol. They would have a chance to maybe go for Ross. Or Sean Slater, who's supposedly a better one, but I don't know. I think they've really focused in on Darisaw, and they'll go with him. So that means at 14, looking for an offensive tackle, uh, they'll go for Slater. Uh, and Washington, once again, goes, you know, because they would like to have him need a left tackle. 15, uh, New England, and now it's Denver picking instead of New England. I'm going to throw it open a little bit and say they go with the linebacker, Jamin Davis. He's really gone up the draft board in the last week on there. 16, J.C. Horn goes to Arizona. I can see that one. 17, uh, Christian Darmore going to Las Vegas. Okay. 18, Aziz Adjulari uh, going to Miami. Man, I think I've changed my entire thing. So who's 19? <laughs> who's worse than half if they're still there? Jeremiah Wosu Koromoa. Did I say that right? I have no idea. I probably won't say it right for a year. Uh, but the Notre Dame linebacker. I mean, they want a linebacker. And I don't know that you want to go for, like, the fifth best offensive tackle unless they rate them higher. If, if they take one, they'll say that. Well, we rated them much higher on our board. Whatever. So, right now, I have them taking the Notre Dame linebacker. But there's a lot of ifs, ands, and buts in this mock draft, as everybody's is. Everyone can throw one up there, but we're all just guessing. We're all just guessing. This is dart throwing. This is the best draft to try and figure this out in quite a few years. Um, you know, some years it's slotted much easier, but mm, I don't know. I did have Deron Payne a few years ago. I was the only guy in town that had Deron Payne. You can look that up. And, of course, I had last year, too. I had Chase Young. So, yeah, I picked a few, you know. I'm also working on the Derby this week for Saturday. Between a mock draft and a Derby, whew, so many scenarios. Uh, I'll have Derby picks up on Saturday morning. I'll just say this. I have... Uh, decided to throw out the favorite uh, at the Derby, and I have a 50 to 1 shot in my triple. So it pays to watch the show if you're betting, because uh, I need to triple will pay, well, you know, several thousand dollars for a buck or two. So listen, you know, come back to me on Saturday for that. Or you can listen to me on the radio. Sometimes I give it away. All right. So I'm Rick Snyder for Rick Snyder's Washington. <laughs> I hope I helped you there. I probably confused you more than anything. I probably confused. Tomorrow I'm going to erase it again and, and we'll just see. We'll see how the wind blows. And that's it. So um, thanks for coming again. Look for the Daily Show over on the other social medias and uh, I'll keep things up to date there. I'm Rick Snyder for Rick Snyder's Washington. Thanks for coming by.